Hey guys, finally testing out the replacement parts. We'll see if they'll work or if they will not. My first time turning it on, so I'm pretty busy. I haven't had a chance to do this. So hopefully it works just like it should. Like from, immediately I can tell that they're a little bit louder. So I haven't ran these in about, I don't know, a month or so, because I've been really busy, so my house is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna run all of them, the Rover Rock, the i7, this Dyson, and then I have an E5 I'm gonna send out as well. That way I'll get a nice thorough cleaning. So I just wanna quickly see how this do at startup, and so far it seems like it's working just fine. I'll of course update it if it airs out, and then I'll show you guys all these guys running at once. Alright, so we got all four of them running. The Dyson, the i7, the Roborock S5, and then here, somewhere, the random, the random navigation robot is all the way in here already. So you can tell this thing is super random. I need to do a good test and see how well this thing actually cleans. I bet you it can't do this large floor plan and get every inch. But, uh, well, Rocky already gave me a, an air. This is the first time it's ever done this. It got stuck on the base of the i7 right off the bat. These are all set to medium suction right now and you can tell which one is the loudest. By far, the Dyson. Very loud. And I switched it to medium suction instead of high. Let me show you how dirty everything is real quick. It's about a month of me working in here and packages coming in and out and I haven't set these guys off at all, so it's pretty dirty. So this is gonna be a nice cleaning job for them. Just moved a bunch of stuff out because I work from home. Obviously, I'm not this dirty all the time, especially with robot vacuums. But so, as you can see, it's a big mess for it to clean up. We'll see how well all four of them do. This should be every single chrome everywhere. We'll see how good it does against these real close baseboard pieces. And I've noticed pretty much every single robot has issues with the threshold. So we'll see if these pieces are still here. So I think Rocky just did the same thing again. Yeah. Now it's trying to get with the i7. Maybe it's trying to say, hey, I want a self emptying base as well. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. So maybe it's trying to, you know, have a baby with it. Robo Rock, if you ever watch this, make yourself a self-emptying base. You guys will dominate the market. So I'm going to move this away from that. That's pretty annoying. It's the first time it's done it. Get out of my way. All right, I'm gonna let these run and do its thing. They just started, so it's probably gonna take at least an hour to do this floor plan. And uh, I'll update you if any of them air out. 
and we'll see how good they do in the end. Alright, I'll be back. Alright guys, so the robots got done cleaning. So for the main portion of this video, the i7 just cleaned flawlessly, not a single error. Came out and cleaned and then came back to recharge to go back out to clean. But I'm done for the night. Uh, it's really late and I'm going to bed, so I'm just going to cancel the job. But to answer the question, the rollers, the air filter, the bag, everything works absolutely perfectly fine as an aftermarket product. So it's a very good deal. I would recommend it. Uh, I'll keep running it and hopefully I don't run into any errors. I would assume I would have hit an error on the first run. But uh, if something does happen and any part messes up, I'll uh, let you guys know. And we'll go from there. But anyways, on this cleaning job, the only robot that finished the job was the Roborock S5. It's a job complete going back to recharge. And it was here. The i7, like I said, went out, cleaned, came back to charge, and was going to go back out and finish. But I canceled it because I'm going to bed. So that, that one would have worked fine as well. Um, the Dyson as well went out and cleaned. Had to come back for a recharge. It was charging up and it was going to go back out on its own. But I canceled that as well. And then lastly, the E5, this one is the only one that did not come back to its base. I found it underneath the couch. I don't know if it got stuck. No, it didn't get stuck because it would have told me that, but it said low battery going back to base to charge. And I had to go looking for it and it was under the couch, just completely dead. So I had to manually put it back on the charger. So this is the only one that I would say failed. And you know what, this, this one, correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't even have um, recharge and resume anyways. So it kind of sucks that it can't do the job and it can't do the job and come back and recharge itself. So, all right, well, that's another test with all four robots. Once again, Roborock wins, hands down. It still had like 60% battery life left. Whereas the Roomba i7, I guarantee it would have finished it and done a great job, but it did have to come back and recharge, which is fine because it does a good job at coming back, recharging, and going back up. And the Dyson, I'm, I'm almost positive it would have went out and finished the job as well. So three very good vacuums. If I had to rate them, Roborock one, i7 number two. And then Dyson a third. I'm probably not going to keep the Dyson just because it's quite expensive. I might sell this and pick up the uh, Roomba S9 with the self emptying bin. I think that'd be a good addition and another great test one. Let me know in the comments if you want me to get rid of this guy and pick up the S9. So let's see how good of a job it did. Or all of them did, I should say. Overall, I'd say pretty good, which I expected for having <laughs> four robots cleaning my house. As you can see, I picked up, they picked up, I mean, everything on the carpet. I don't know how clearly you could see it earlier, but it's pretty dirty in this room. And like I complained before, there's that threshold. All four vacuums went over this, and none of them can pick up right in the crack where they meet. And then it missed a few little specks here, not a big deal. But I mean, thinking all four of them went, they, they should have got every single speck in this house. But yeah, overall, as you would expect, they all did a great job. And uh, I just wanted to show what all four would do if any of them gave an errors. And then the main question was the aftermarket parts. And yes, those things work perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. If you haven't seen my unboxing of the $30 aftermarket parts, I'll throw it on the, I'll throw a link in the description. 
All right, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please like and subscribe. I will start to make new videos as well. And once again, let me know in the comments if you want me to get the S9 by Roomba and do a bunch of different reviews on that. Have a good one. Talk to y'all later.